Uh, Madison, um, did we... Were we in the same class at school, by any chance? Mm, no. Because I, I swear we got chemistry. Wow, wow, that's wild. You got blood on your hands, how do you plead? Boy, it's like treason, how you treating me? It's eight Mondays in a row, nine days of the week. These tantrums been old, I'll bet no sweet. Miss Madison Beer. It is good to see you. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, my name is Ryan, by the way. I'm from Malaysia. You might recognize me, actually, from um, your Instagram likes. But um, on behalf of your Instagram <laughs> likes and all your fans in Malaysia, I do have to ask you, I do have to ask you, if you can give us a quick 3D perspective into this interview right now, what can you see around you and where are you right now? I'm currently in my producer's bedroom. Um, we're in the middle of uh, writing more music. And so I, you know, stepped out to do these little interviews, but I'm in the middle of a writing camp right now. You know, Madison, I think it's safe to say that you have done more in 22 years than what some people have done in a lifetime. I mean, are there, are there, what other boxes have you got left to tick, Madison? Um, I think I have a lot. I, I have um, a lot of dreams and a lot of goals and I, I love performing. I love the creative arts and I want to, you know, dip my toes into everything that I can. And um, I think that the sky is the limit and I want to just, you know, continue, continue down a road of creativity and figure out what other lanes I can touch people and heal people and reach people in. And um, yeah, I'm just, I, I want to always just remain true to myself. I'm constantly like creating things in my brain. So I just want to find a place to put all, all of them at some point. Point, so we'll see. I mean, I do have a couple of suggestions if you're willing to hear them. Um, of course, Ryan, I would love to hear them. I mean, I, I mean, I feel like on behalf of your fans, I would love to see a Madison Beer reality show. Do you know what I mean? I, I would call it with your parents, and I'd call it, you know, maybe a, a Madison, Maddie Dad, and Maddie Mum. Wow, right wow, there. that's wild. Um, I'm gonna shoot that down. It never happened. <laughs> so not. I, I get like so overwhelmed. I can't have cameras. Um, I'm more like, you know, I'll go to somewhere other than where I live for two months and film a movie. That sounds way more fun to me. What about this one though? Like you, I think it's safe to say you heal people with your music. So why not make the natural next step and heal people literally and, and, and practice medicine. I'm talking medicine medicine right here. Wow. Um, <laughs> I don't do well with uh, cuts or blood or things like that. So I'm not sure how that would work out for me, but not a bad idea. I feel rejected right now. You shut down too. That's okay. I have one final one. I've got one final one, Madison. Are you a big fan of breakfast cereal by any chance? Breakfast cereal? Yeah. Of course. I give you perhaps your next line of cereal, reckless breakfast right there. Hey, you guys made this? I want this. I want to own this in my house. I have it. You know, you know, let's just, I mean, I'll, I'll do a taster for you if you want. What? Yeah. What's, what is it? What's it like? It definitely tastes reckless. It tastes like reckless. I, that's, I, I, you know, if you were here right now, I'd give this to you right now, but I don't think you want any of this. I can sense it. I can feel it in my head. I'm exactly <laughs> well, Madison, um, I know you're no stranger to difficult questions, which is why here at Fly FM, we've outsourced some difficult questions to be asked to you by some of the most respected people in our country. And who better than our elderly folks, or as we call them here in Malaysia, our Malaysian uncles and aunties. That's what we call our elderly folks, Malaysian uncles and aunties. I've got three questions and three difficult questions from Malaysian uncles and aunties. Are you ready for your first question from a Malaysian uncle? Sure. Hey, Madison, Uncle Edwin here. As Malaysians, our number one excuse is traffic. What is your number one go-to excuse in life? Hi, nice to meet you, first of all. Second of all, uh, my number one go-to excuse in life? Probably, I mean, listen, I live in LA, so traffic is also a, an excuse, but I oversleep sometimes because I don't enjoy setting alarms. They give me like a lot of anxiety. Um, so probably oversleeping is a big excuse that I use. Oh no, I feel you, Madison. If I could give you a virtual high five, I would right now because I have the same problem. I just, I sleep way too late and I just wake up way too, way too early sometimes. I just don't get enough sleep. So I'm running late all the time. I love the answer. All right, Madison, second question comes from Auntie Life Fun. Hi, Madison. I'm Auntie Life Fun. The one meal that we can eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner anytime is nasi lemak. What is one meal that you can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Okay, great question. I want to know first what is 
the, I'm not going to even try to ruin what she just said. What What is that exactly? Oh, nasi lemak is our national dish. That's our national dish. It's got like it's got like fat rice. It's got uh, chicken. It's got um, for the protein. It's got like a sambal sauce as well with like a chili paste. It's one of the best things you could have for any meal of the day, really. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted to get like a visual. Um, I would say I'm a breakfast person and I could eat like eggs and toast and pancakes every meal of the day. And then, you know, put a bit of a, a reckless breakfast in there and we're sorted. It's all good. All right, final one, Madison. And this one comes from Auntie uh, Katija. Hi, Madison. I'm Auntie Katija. I have a daughter who is same age as you. I can always tell when she's lying to me. When was the last time you liked to your parents? Ooh, um, to be honest, I know this sounds like not true at all. I really don't lie. I, I make it a rule. I like really just try to avoid lying at all costs. And I really think my mom is the same way where she's very perceptive. And I think if I lied to her, she'd be able to tell instantaneously. Um, maybe with my dad, I like leave details out of stories, but I don't think I've like straight up lied to them in a, in a long time. I think it's safe to say we're never going to find skeletons in that closet of yours, Madison. You are squeaky clean as it is and we love it. Let's let it be known. There there are skeletons <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> Madison, I want to put you in a spot right now. How would you like to win 50 ringgit in 50 seconds? And our 50 ringgit, in case you're wondering, is about 12 US dollars, I believe. And I've been told you can get like a nice fresh bagel somewhere in, in Hollywood. Uh, well, not in Hollywood, in New York, but yes, 100%. Good stuff. All right, 50 ringgit in 50 seconds. To so speed around the questions, these questions come from your fans, by the way, all over our social media pages. So uh, here, here's how it works, Madison. I'm going to ask you, we're going to start the clock. I may stop the clock every now and again. If we complete all the questions in those 50 seconds, the 50 ringgit is yours the next time I see you. Wow, okay. And if not, the 50 ringgit stays with me. Madison Beer, are you ready? 50 ringgit in 50 seconds. I'm ready. Your time starts now. Madison, movie title that best describes your life. Um, Hot Mess Express. <laughs> I'll take it. I thought you were gonna say Madison Medicine there for a second. All right, next one. What Olympic sport, Madison, do you think you'd be all right at? Oh, goodness. Nothing at all, at all. No, I'm not athletic. All right, I'll take that one as well. Uh, number three, Madison, if you had five minutes alone with Dwayne The Rock Johnson's phone, what would you do with it? Um, I would probably, uh, I, I don't know. I'm such a random person. Um, I'd probably look through his I content. I mean, he is the third most followed person on Instagram, so there is an audience there that you can take advantage of. That's true. I feel like my, I would probably see who was like the most interesting person in his contact. Uh, Madison B, the final one. What's the best joke you know? Best joke I know? Um, man, you you have me looking bad right now. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, I, I really don't know. My jokes are all, you know, wildly ridiculous and also very long. So I will not win the money in that. Don't worry. I've stopped the clock a couple of times. We've still got another 20 seconds left. All right, uh, Madison, uh, the funniest pickup line used on you. The funniest pickup line that's been used on me? Like, I, I don't know. I don't really classify pickup lines as funny. I think they're like cringy. So... I mean, I mean, I can give it a shot if you want. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's okay, go. this was a classic one. Not great, not, a, but it's an oldie, but it's a goodie, I think. All right, Madison, um, did we, were we in the same class at school, by any chance? Mm, no. Because I, because I swear we got chemistry. Yeah, I, that's you know, it was so nice meeting you. <laughs> that's it for me. I'm, I'm out of here after that. No, I'm yeah. kidding. Bye. <laughs> No, Madison, thank you very much for talking to us today. Um, uh, I do want to ask you, though, just on behalf of all your Madison fans, if you can, if you have a message for them, of course, but also, can you give us a bit of a scoop? Tell us something that you haven't told anyone else yet, Madison. Um, there's not really, I wish there was some juiciness I can tell, but there's really nothing. I'm just working on, you know, getting this new music out, getting, I'm about to go on tour in less than a month now, and I'm so excited. I also just learned how to say, I love you which I, I'm going to try to say, which is Saya Sayang Kamu. Yes!
She got I it. Know I'll work on it and I will perfect it. But I love all of my Malaysian fans. I appreciate the support more than anything from you guys playing the record and from them listening to it. It's been really, really overwhelming and amazing. And, I, and I'm very, very appreciative. And I love them so much. And we can't wait to see you here, Madison. It's been an absolute pleasure. You are a beacon of light in what would be a very dim world right now. So thank you for spreading joy with your music and, and, and you as well. You are so sweet. Work on those pickup lines and maybe the next one will work, so. I'll take I'll take your advice. Madison, what's your favorite way to end an interview, just, just out of curiosity? I usually just rant about how much I love my fans and then say bye. And I will always give a, give a peace sign, classic MB. Give a peace sign? We can do that. We can do a virtual high five or we can do an old fashioned staring contest. Is there any of the above that you want to do? I think a virtual high five sounds nice. Let's do it. Madison Beer, virtual high five from all of us here in Malaysia. We can't wait to see you here soon and we love you. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. Fly FM. And the music you want all day.